Hi, in this video, I'll talk about canonical analysis. So we will learn about the theory of canonical uh, correlation analysis. And we'll also take an example to understand how we can use this technique uh, in doing research. This is a very uh, popular statistical uh, technique used for research in uh, many areas of social science uh, and business. So it's very important therefore to understand what is this is all about. So you will have options to explore when you have different research problems. All right. So what is canonical analysis? Well, canonical correlation analysis is used to identify and measure the association among two sets of variables. So we have two sets of variables. We would like to know the, the relationship between these two sets. And to quantify that, we use the canonical correlation analysis. As you can see here, we talk about correlation, right? Canonical correlation. So it is finding basically correlation between two sets of different variables. So this is a multivariate analysis. Uh, you might have come across univariate correlation. You might have also studied about multivariate regression analysis, but this is somewhat different. It takes the, you know, the best of both uh, and combines in some form, which is, you know, very useful in uh, some situations. And it's also often known as the mother of all parametric analysis. That means uh, all the multivariate statistical analysis can well be derived from the canonical correlation analysis. Uh, for example, multiple linear regression, factor analysis, principal component analysis, all these things can well be derived from the canonical correlation analysis. Uh, so it's, it's a fundamental uh, technique and a very useful technique in many uh, scenarios. Just to understand a bit more about what is this all about. So it's uh, very similar to multiple regression. Uh, however, here we have more than uh, one dependent variable. In multiple regression, we only have one dependent variable and multiple independent variables, right? Here it is a bit different. We have multiple independent variables but we also have multiple dependent variables or target variables, and that's a bit different from the multiple regression. So multiple independent variables, multiple dependent variables. So here the, the idea is uh, whether we can relate multiple independent variables with multiple dependent variables, or in other words, whether multiple independent variables are able to, uh, uh, to explain the variability uh, in the dependent variable. Do they have shared variance, right? Does that ring a bell? Well, also in principal component analysis or factor analysis, we have this concept of shared variance, right? This is something similar, but we'll see how is it different from that. All right, so here is this form. We have Y1, Y2, so more than one Y variable or dependent variable, and we also have more than one independent variables. But you can also have just one independent variable. That's still fine, right? Uh, that's just uh, one uh, sort of uh, special case, right? And you, call, you can also have one dependent variable also. That's again a special case. But to, in more general form, you can have more than one independent variable and more than one dependent variable. So here is an example. So we have... Um, two sets of variables x1 and x2 so x1 is nothing but problem solving skills of a child and x2 is accuracy of problem solving and uh, the other set of variables x3 and x4 x3 is about the reading ability of someone uh, of the same child and x4 is writing ability of the child okay and there is some score these are quantitative scores assigned for uh, these sets of variables. And we would like to know whether there is uh, a strong relationship between x1, x2 with respect to x3 and x4. So x3 and x4 here are the dependent variable and x1 and x2 are the independent variables. Okay. And we would like to uh, 
find out the relationship and whether x1 x2 really explains x3 and x4 or not right that's what we normally do in linear regression but here it's like you know doing more than one linear regression at the same time okay so here is that is the canonical correlation analysis all right so in more theoretical form it looks like this so you take the linear combination of x1 x2 which are the uh, independent variables here okay i am i apologize for my mistake so v uh, so v here is linear combination of x3 and x4 not x1 and x2 there is a typo here so um, please please keep that in mind so u is a linear combination of x1 and x2 v is the linear combination of x3 and x4 okay so here we have x3 and x4 so v is a linear combination of x3 and x4 but it's by mistake i have just written x1 and x2 that's wrong it should be x b1 x3 plus b2 x4 right so uh, using this technique what we can find is the relationship between u and v so we'll find a set of parameters so in this case a1 a2 and b1 b2 that maximizes the correlation between u and v right so which quantifies basically the association between these two groups so these two groups are now represented by u and v separately and we would like to know the association between u and v such that the correlation is maximized and for what parameters uh, we see that so basically parameters would be your a1 a2 b1 b2 in this case okay so this is the theoretical background obviously you know there is a lot more to it uh, if you actually work out in terms of the matrix algebra i want to i i won't get into the details of it but you can read through uh, many books where you have details of the theory uh, behind canonical correlation analysis alternative techniques for such a problem you can also multiple regression but you have to perform separate regression for each dependent variable and you probably won't be able to relate how variability uh, between uh, the dependent variables are uh, quantified so you you won't be able to know that but you can certainly know the relationship between set of independent variables with the dependent variables you have to perform multiple set of uh, regression S assumption now in multiple linear regression you have several assumptions most of these assumptions are also applicable to canonical correlation analysis for example your data should uh, well the relationship is assumed to be linear the relationship between dependent and the independent variable is assumed to be linear absence of multicollinearity that means your independent variables should not be highly correlated otherwise there is a problem of multicollinearity you can't really explain the uh, estimates and your estimates would certainly be not be uh, yeah statistically unbiased and then uh, you have uh, homost elasticity so homost elasticity is basically your uniform uh, variability right that's again an assumption in multi uh, regression same uh, is also there in canonical correlation analysis normality again one assumption in multiple sorry multiple regression the same is also applicable here so these assumptions should be made and like linear regression you should also check this assumption before performing this analysis okay um you can find packages in different uh, software packages different uh, you can find a lot of uh, good functions in matlab and octave you have can canonker in r you have canker sas proc canker and python stats in stats model you have also a, a function you can use we will take an example later on in sas so you can also watch that as to how you can use uh, statistical packages to uh, do this uh, analysis uh, well you know it doesn't really differ much if you change from one statistical package to the other um, the syntax changes a bit but the explanation about the results remain the same practical uses it's quite heavily used in educational research where uh, researchers are trying to find out the 
you know the relationship between uh, ability of children in one type of skills with some other type of skills so they find out uh, you know the relationship through different set of input variables and then in psychological research for example in iq test or personality test there also it is used marketing analysis is one area where it is used quite heavily and this is from the industry so even in the industry people use marketing people use uh, such uh, techniques particularly in marketing analytics or uh, in in customer experience analytics something like that 